I'm sorry. In this, if I was that gentleman's case, I'd probably be going to jail again because I swear I would have walked over there and just jawed her. I just, oh, I'm sorry. Hey guys, and welcome back for another video. So today we're going to be looking at this viral moment that happened on paternity court. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. The guy ends up not being the father, but there's a huge kicker. Right? Yeah, that's, that seems to be the case in a lot of these episodes, but like, I think that's what makes it watchable. Anyway, there's a kicker, so make sure you watch to the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave us a comment, tell us what you think about it, but let's get started. Hey guys, really quick, I just wanted to let you know that this video is a little wonky to avoid copyright strikes. This video starts brutally with this confession from Mr. Manser leading to drama in the court. 12 hours of my life cost me five years in the Department of Corrections. She was a friend of my aunt. She was best friends with my aunt. We all lived in the same little community. She lived across the street. I knew of her, I knew her, I've spoken to her. But as far as intimacy, we was together one time. And I hate to be crude, but it was a one night stand. I don't care what your version was. I was far well, from a one night dating. stand. Living across the street from each other? Far from a one well, night stand. My wife's gonna be upset because right, I live across right. the street from somebody Ms. I'm not dating. Oh, Ms. if I was your wife, I all wouldn't right. trust you for nothing. I don't think after all of this that has transpired, it really matters whether it was a one night stand right. or a two matter. day trip. My biggest concern. I, the point is, is you all had a sexual relationship right. at some point. So there is a possibility that he's the father of right. your son, Correct. Dylan. Possibility. Okay. I didn't find out anything about the child until I was served with papers in 1995. And so and you, you showed that, up huh? for court and what no, happened? I wasn't no, able to, I wasn't up. able to show, show up for court. I was completely on the other side of the state. Then some more stories about the whole situation. I was indigent. I was living at my mom's, didn't have a job at the time. So I didn't show up for court and I was named a natural father by default. And then what happens? And then I was charged criminally for not paying the child support that was ordered in the default judgment. So, so how did... Wow, that's a lot so far. Basically, you got a situation where this guy is sleeping with this woman one time years ago and for whatever reason she decided to i guess keep the baby even though they didn't have a relationship and that's fine whatever but she took him to family court and it looks like we're gonna see some more to go here but it doesn't sound like from the beginning he thought he was a father you know what i'll watch a little bit more before i say anything how did you get arrested that came three years later after I still didn't pay child support, still unable to pay. I still had doubt. I've never to this day, thank God for your show, or I'd never know for sure whether or not I was the natural father. Never. If you would have showed up for court, you would have showed up for court. Why? You made a face with that. Why? I wonder at what time period was this? Because I mean. Um, well, the I'm sorry to interrupt, but apparently she conceived in 1995 in 1998 she took him to court right by 2003 he was arrested for non-payment of child support <clears throat> right so therefore from 1998 all the way well 1995 but i guess maybe he claims he didn't know about the child until she came to him so in wait, we got 1995 to 2003 so almost 10 years so you tell me within that 10 years you were so doing so poorly or you just had so many things going on that you couldn't take a dna test you well know. well we see here he keeps talking about the situation where he's not with working or he doesn't have a job so I can look understand. look look i you know what i mean i've been down myself i, I mean i've had a period where it was hard for me too and um but i mean 10 years come on 10 years at some point it's like you know like what are you doing are, are you are you some type of junkie living out on the street because 10 years come on get you a job at taco <laughs> bell mcdonald's or something just to get you a little something in your money in, in your pocket just something 10 years <laughs> that's insane that's, that's what it, i'm saying i'm like no I, i'm not like buying kinda, that it's, so i mean let's 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 talk about it because we go out in on women a lot in this channel like that sounds like some piece of crap oh, and you know what here's go the thing it's like woman i know this sounds bad okay he says it was a one night stand if i'm going by this in my personal opinion it was probably not a one night stand because i've i've never really ran don't get me wrong it's some women out there but I have yet to run across a woman that, again, I have yet to run across a woman who decided to have a kid from a one night stand. As long as they're able to get an abortion, most of the women that I've encountered, they got an abortion because it's a one night stand. You don't know the person. So 
that lets me think that it probably wasn't a one night stand, especially when he got when he got some cat right across the street. I mean, if I got a cat right across the street for me, you know, and I wasn't married, married, don't don't crucify me. You best believe I'll be trying to get that cat every single day. Be like, here's dinner. Hey, I brought over some breakfast. Can I borrow some sugar? <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Um, that actually does make a lot of sense when you put it into perspective like that. Unless we'll play devil's advocate here. What if the one time they did it, there was something that was wrong about her? You know what I'm saying? Like, can't you say that you can just hit it and quit it? Like after one time, sometimes something is just so wrong. But again, like, eh, that's no. why. That's why. I, like maybe something might have been wrong with her mentally. But like I said. Most of the women I encountered, they, they, most of the time when you have a kid, most of the women I've encountered, they had a kid from a guy they was dealing with and they had feelings for, and they might have been hoping that guy would wipe them up after they had that kid. Yeah. So let's go ahead and watch a little bit more. But have known. I didn't. I couldn't show up for court. Why? There's so a lot of people. I, 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 I got there. there. I was, well, you live in the same town. Well, I got there. Yeah, just fine. I'm sure you did. I wasn't busy running away from everybody. Did you? That's right. You didn't pay child support for about eight years. Quit telling him it's three years. It was, it was about eight years. The, the court order was 1995. Mm -hmm. I got arrested in 1998. So that's three years in my calculation. Twelve years. And so, then when I, and I went to prison for five years. When I got out of prison in 2003, I paid child support from that day until just February of last year when I lost oh. my Mr. Case. Manser admits this to Judge Lauren regarding his case. The pain that you've endured and what you've gone through is in part because- My stubbornness. Um, he, he calls it stubbornness. I call it brokenness. Stupidity. I call it oh. stupidity. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. I and mean, brokenness of nature because for you to feel like you will never receive these benefits of life by you know good employment and then maintaining some level of lifestyle, Look, he must think very poorly about himself. Look, I mean, it doesn't cost that much to get a paternity test. You know, Hundred bucks. Well, you know, I, you know what? Even I'll even say, look, because it was back then, so I'll even say maybe three hundred bucks. Three hundred bucks is cheap compared to what eight, what eighteen years of child support. If somebody was to say pay 300 bucks or pay 18 years of child support, they'd be like, here you go. And I give it to him with a smile. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Hey, I, exactly. He needed to get that paternity test from right off rip. And any guy that has question about a child, you know, I mean, just judging by things that we see on YouTube nowadays, it's just best to get it checked out. And I mean, even if you needed to get our son checked out for whatever reason, considering what's going on in this world, I would understand. And I got no problem with it because really? I know what it is. <laughs> Definitely. But, you know, I just I mean, you know, there's there's so many stories we see on YouTube where stuff is like so messed up for guys. And this is one of those stories where it's like, I really feel bad for this guy. But at the same time, I, he could have avoided it. I don't. I, it's like, you, you feel bad that the system got him that way. If anything, what I what makes me angry isn't really, is is more the system. But I don't feel bad for him because it's like, it comes, I say this to women and I say this for guys it comes a time where you have to be a little bit proactive um and accountable for your own actions and accountable for your own decisions so I mean if it's something that can mitigate risk why not take it I mean simple as that yeah I mean it, oh gosh it's just it's horrifying to think about like five years of your life going away for like a kid and you know and, you're being and he's broke so you know he didn't go to no federal prison so he i i bet you he kept that soap tied around his neck oh my gosh and you know something that does happen i'm not even gonna lie like i watch documentaries and i was watching this one on you know guys that end up being the quote unquote bottoms in prison and like usually i mean usually they're like like this guy's demeanor it's like you're not super strong looking and you know he looks like he may have been a drinker or something i don't know like in order for you to be safe and successful in a prison you have to affiliate yourself with people you do because you will need protection because at any point you got all these groups of people 
and they're bigger and they're stronger because they've been there for a while so they've been pumping iron so it's like anybody that they want to make their quote unquote we'll just go ahead and say it bitch they will do it like they will do it and i was watching this one where it was like um this black guy i'm not even gonna lie i can i can try to find the video maybe i'll find the clip but he was like straight up like basically the white guys just be the the people that they choose because they tend to just be weaker in prison because of the number of people that's there. But anyway, let's just go ahead and this, this, uh, Let me just say this. I've heard recently that the booty warrior got out. So, um, yeah, I, I wonder how that's going to work for him if he actually did get out. If anybody know what the booty warrior is, or should I say don't know, look it up. Or, oh wa or watch Boondocks. <laughs> it's true. Thank and, you. And you are a living example of right. that. And, I, and I, it needs to be so known now, out there. So as you're being hauled off to court, you're still adamant and you're saying, I'm not the father of this child. I'm saying I've never been proven to be the father of this child. Judge Lauren then discloses the content of the first DNA test result done. I do see that for alleged father, it's entirely blank. That's right. Meaning imagine that. there is no social security number. That's right. There is no address. She forgot there to put that no part in there. There is no information about you. It's all blank. There's no picture of you. There's no photograph. She didn't have that information. That's right. Exactly. So, obviously, your contention that you didn't show up, you weren't there for this particular test, is You're true. Right. Because there's no evidence that you were there That's on that exactly day. Right. Thank We've you, established that. Thank you. We do, however, see a lab record of a collection taken on May the 1st, 1995, which they claim was you. The drama unfolds. Miss Sear, you're saying that he expressed no doubt to you no. as to whether or not Dylan was his son until he was around 18? Not until Dylan turned 18. Don't you think the fact that I have nothing to do with it would express doubt? You had nothing to do with three of your kids, uh, including the ones sitting I got one there. right here. Not until he was 13. I got one right now. Yeah, because I was in prison for five years. Do the math. That's not 13 I, I, years. I'm not winning no awards. I'm here to tell you that I didn't submit a DNA test. At least on my part, he made up for it. And he, man, I just cracked up because she did say, he, he's like, not until he was 13. And I mean, it's like, yeah, I mean, can you blame him if he's in prison for five years? It's like, oh, yeah. I mean, some parents don't want their children to see their father in, in jail or parent in jail. And some children don't want to see their parent in jail. So it's like, it's got the funny, but yeah, he could have saved himself a lot of trouble. Yeah, I don't even know what to say at this point. And now, one thing I can say now concerning her, I mean, come on, that's 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 a lie. Why would a guy who believes the child isn't his, unless she's just a, a retard? But then again, <laughs> I mean, he from what he's saying, he seemed kind of stupid. I mean, why would you wait until the child is eighteen and you already paid? I don't know how many child how much child support bill. I don't think this child is mine. If you don't think that child is yours or even had the slightest bit of doubt, you should get it done immediately. Yeah, that's just crazy that he would wait this long. Like, you know, and he claims like it's about uh, jobs and why he couldn't make it to court. But it seems like you would at some point care more about your future and like your paycheck that's being garnished for child support. Now, see, the thing about the 1995 thing, I don't know how that exactly works in the system. And this is where I say our system is messed up because technically he didn't sign any birth certificate. So I assumed if he actually had got the paternity test and it proved he wasn't the father, he probably would have been off the hook. That's what I'm assuming, hoping that I, hoping there's just a little bit of faith in in the system just a little bit just maybe a little smidgen of justice oh my gosh but i mean just but think if about not, it like... then they got you even if you, <laughs> even if you're proven not to be the father they got you yeah definitely that's the kind of system we're in this is just insane let's see what else happens and here's how miss sear is feeling i feel like i have never ever deserved disrespect i was not the woman that showed up at your doorstep every two months you're going to be my baby's daddy i have never disrespected you i let have you be to and live your yet. life and be live your selfish life you've lived for the last 20 years right. like maybe he was not really a great guy to begin with i mean come on we're, we're talking about getting somebody pregnant dipping off and it sounds like he wasn't just doing it to her so he had that stereotypical like situation where he put he's, on a condom and run through him he wasn't wearing his a case, condom. Not a condom. <laughs> he was running through it, but he wasn't putting no damn but condom on. Here's here's go something though. Not his son is there. Why didn't she bring her son? He's like, oh no, he hasn't come out yet because this is just a snippet of the show. So she's like, I didn't come to your door. I did not come and say you're my baby's daddy. But okay. yet, uh, here's go the thing. 
me, this is a personal pet peeve of mine. I hate it when people play victim, whether man or woman. I hate it. That burns me up. That if you want me to get angry and show you the 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 nasty, I don't give a flying who. Try to play victim. <laughs> oh wow! There's just a little bit left here. However, the DNA test result is a shocker to all. As it pertains to 20-year-old Dylan Sear, Mr. Manser, you are not oh, God. his father. Oh, man. Five years in prison. But there's more. That is fraud. I know you're upset. I know I it's you. overwhelming. I need a moment with Dylan because I want to make sure he understands. Do you want to find out who your father is? Of course. Miss Sear, do you know? Yes, ma'am. You know who his father is? Yes, I talk to him still. I don't believe I'm, that. I'm sorry. I I'll, I'll, that. I'll, you know what? You know what? Here's the thing. Maybe she is because I'll be honest. Women can be, guys are, are, like that? are dirty, but women can be just as treacherous, if not more sometimes. It's like, but you know what? I'm sorry. In this, if I was that gentleman's case, I'd probably be going to jail again because I swear I would have walked over there and just jawed her. I just, oh, I'm sorry. That's five years of your life you can't get back. Oh my God. You got a criminal <laughs> record. You know, you know he dropped the soap police once or twice. All that because she wanted to assume he was the father because she's been opening her legs to multiple people and then she just wanted to play. I don't know, Russian roulette, or no, darts. Uh, You're the father. <laughs> so, oh, <God. laughs> I swear I would have jawed her. And I, you know, I don't, this is I, I don't, I don't think you should beat women, but come on, that's, you know, it, it should be some type of repercussion. For and me. that's why I wanted to do this video because I wanted to talk to you about exactly that. Because when I watched this, I was like, wow, that's pretty messed up. Like, but not only did he have so to pay much. child support for a kid, for even back child support for a kid that's now 20 years old and it wasn't even his so he believed that for 20 years practically or at least 17 because they said he didn't find out till 1998 or that's when he was served so thinking about all of that and then five years out of your life in prison five years away from your actual children five years away from whoever you may have been with five years you can't work. You can't build your career at that point. Like five years, a chunk out of your life to, to, to get that, yourself that going criminal forward. record you got. Yeah, because when you get out now, that's on your record. So it's not like you can just pick up right where you left off. That's not how it works. I swear I would have jawed her. I mean, I, I, and you know, I feel so bad because she's a woman. But you know what? You got it coming. Yeah, that's insane. Like I'm just at the point where I'm like, you know what? There's a little tiny bit left. I think the judge is going to give her opinion on it. Chef. Listen, get away from my son. He apologized. Go ahead. I know you got something to say because she was like, get away from my son. <laughs> like, yeah. So you know, he, he was the father when he was cutting that check. That's when he was the dad, huh? He cutting that check. He, he could be daddy all you want. Right. As long as he paying that check, but once he done paying that check, then it's get away from my son. No, you just mad because all your nastiness was brought to light, mm -hmm. and your son know that you not that 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 faithful woman that you claim to be. That mama's actually a uh... <laughs> mama was the rolling stone. <laughs> <laughs> mama oh, gets that? down. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh god! There's a little tiny bit left. And having another breath is calling me a liar. You cannot stand there and really suggest that you cannot comprehend why this man would not have any type of ill feeling, frustration, or regret as it relates to anything involving you. Five years in prison. Five years in prison. So even the judge had the notion to know like this was uncalled for but you know what here's the thing he could have saved himself so much trouble the system is out to get you let's just be honest uh, i like man woman i'm men i know it sounds bad i i believe in equality but i'm just gonna say when it comes to both genders 
is not favorable towards a man, regardless of what race you are. When it comes to marriage and child support and all that, please be proactive in everything you do and try to protect yourself in any way possible. Because in most cases, the man, the man makes more than more money in the relationship and the woman is the one who files for the divorces and all this, this and that. I'm not even going to say that really because yes, it could be about money, but it might not be about money because here's the thing. Now I've heard, let me know if this is true or not, but I've heard even if a woman makes more than a guy, if she files for primary custody or full custody, then even even if she makes more than him, he will still get something taken out his paycheck to help go towards that child. So therefore, I mean, at this point, it's like, it's just about protecting yourself because you have some people that they will think that you're either weak, nice, they'll try to take advantage of you, or they might think that you have money, or they can sniff the potential that they feel you have to get that money. But in her case, I think she just was younger and probably losing the cooch or something because she just was passing it around to dudes. You knew he wasn't like, you know, winning at that time. If he was across the street from you and maybe that age and then he was already talking about living with his mom, you know, they already knew what that was. And it's nothing like wrong with that if you're doing that at some point in your life, like when you're younger. But when you get to a certain point in your life, you do have to be self-sufficient. And I think due to his poor decisions and even from the get-go, women, like, you didn't have to go into that, you know, without protection. Because we all know what can happen. It's like, just because she lets you, you have to have some type of discretion for yourself as a man. If you don't want to get caught up by women who are shysty and things of that nature, then you have to protect yourself. You know what? I have really nothing else to say about this. This, this guy was just hilarious. That's all I can say. Yeah, like his whole situation. And the judge kind of felt bad for him, but at the same time, she did call him out on it, like, due to your... And she lightened it up, letting him say stubbornness, but I think it was like... That stupidity. Said, <laughs> I, I swear, that's like, okay, okay. True story. Or should I say, I won't say true story. Mm. I won't say true story. <laughs> well, technically, it's like I heard it from somebody about an acquaintance of mine. But uh, acquaintance of mine's um, had, was caught doing something illegal anyway they offered they offered him a month of probation or no six months of probation or was it a year six months or a year and maybe two or three months of jail because he wanted to get back out and do that um illegal activity again i'm assuming he chose the three months of jail <laughs> all right you guys definitely let us know what you think about this whole situation don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell we're signing off we'll see you next time